Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, prep and paint a brand new wing that already comes pre-primed. Uh, I've seen so many people online doing it in so many different ways. Uh, today, I'm gonna to show you how I do it um, and go from there. Uh, new shape transit uh, custom wing, brand new. It's a genuine uh, Ford part, this one. Um, the reason for today's video is I'm doing it and I just thought, well, I might as well film it. Loads of people always ask me paint questions uh, and I, online I see loads of people doing it all different ways. Some people just scotch them off uh, and paint them. Uh, I'm not saying that's incorrect way of doing it, but uh, I don't feel comfortable with just scotching it and painting over it. Uh, I don't really trust their, their primer is not like a 2K primer as such, if that makes sense, not like what we would put on it. So um, I like to prep the panel, put a bit of wet and wet primer over it and then paint it. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with that once I've prepped it correctly. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I prep it and what I do and we'll go from there, go through the steps and uh, yeah, we'll show you and we'll get this painted. First thing I use on something like this is some of these Merca sanding pads, they're like a soft pad uh, foam backed bit of sandpaper if that makes sense really nice really durable uh, and they do the job really well so the first thing I do is I go over the flat parts of the panels I stay away from the edges with 500 grit to get the first initial key all keyed up nicely there so I'll crack on with that and we'll be back in a sec As you just saw, I haven't gone mental with the 500 soft pad. Just give it a good key all around, all the areas that I'll be painting, uh, all the edges and that. I've just been a bit careful on the edges with the five because you can buzz through. So I'll just give it a wipe down. Some people would go straight up to the next grip straight away, but um, it's still always the way that I've done it. So I've done that, cleaned it down. I'd like to keep the panels as clean as possible because most of the dirt in your jobs are what's left on the panel rather than what's coming, falling onto it from in the air, if that makes sense. So my next step, same soft pad, foam back to one again, would be the Merca 800. So I'm gonna go around, key all this up with 800, and then we'll move on to the final step. Had 500, it's had the 800, nibbed over all of it, and then I'll do one more thing is I'll scotch that with a bit of paste now, and then uh, I'm totally happy that I know that it's gonna stick to it as it should do. Uh, like I said, a lot of people do things differently. I'm not here to tell you that this is the only way to do it. I'm here to show you how I do it and what works for me. Uh, some people might say that that's a bit overkill and just scotching it's good enough. And that's down to them. I know there's a lot of people on here that are interested in painting and a lot of you follow me and you like to learn things. Uh, and I'm just showing you, this is how I do it, how I feel comfortable with it. And I feel that, it, you know, I've got more of a chance of it sticking and staying on there if that makes sense rather than just scotching it off so i've done my 500 soft pad i've done my 800 now we're going to gray scotch this with a bit of scuffing paste so um i'll do that now and i find also with the bit of scuffing paste and being a bit wet it cleans everything down gets it all nice in between each step i've panel wiped it i use a water-based panel wipe first and then a solvent-based panel wipe afterwards uh, I find that this water-based panel wipe helps bring 
water-based contaminants up and off the panel and the solvent-based one has got its own place as well and that brings solvent-based uh, bits up and off the panel and it also using the water base really helps with uh, static as well believe it or not static plays a big part in painting uh, and I find using the water base one really helps eliminate well not totally you know, I could do with getting a stack done to be fair but it does really help with the static and um, keeping jobs cleaner so that's what I found works for me so that's the way that I do it and I just carry on I'm the same as anyone who's painting or learning to paint I'm always trying to become the best I can be if that makes sense so you're never too old to learn and you never stop learning especially in this game so some new revolutionary product might come out and it might make you better give it a try never be scared to try new things in different ways so yeah let's go get a bit of scotch let's get this all scuffed up cleaned down and I'll see you in a moment I just mixed up some uh, wet and wet primer. This is from MIPA, uh, 2K HS fill primer is what they call. It's mixed at five parts primer to one part hardener uh, and 20 to 25% thinners. And I'm just gonna run it through my old Pro Light. This is a 1.3 tip, um, TE20. Let's go and get this on. We're gonna give it two coats. Um, first coat, about five, 10 minute flash, time, flash off time. Then we're gonna give it another coat. Then we leave it 15, 20 minutes and then we can paint over it. So once we finish the last coat, we can start getting our gun ready for base coat and we can go forward from there with the painting. Let's get set up, see you in a sec. That's the well and wet down. Got to give that another five minutes, and then uh, we start painting straight over the top of that. But uh, it's laid down quite nice. So hoping to get quite a nice finish on this. Let me give it another five. I'll we'll get the paint knocked up, and we'll start painting it. Oh, oh, oh. 
that's the base coat done. Let me turn this off so you can hear me. That laid down quite nice to be fair. Give it another five minutes and we get some clear on that. Mixed up my clear coat, that's all done. Uh, I'm using a new clear coat, I'm trying it out today for the first time. Uh, multi mix. It's supposed to be uh, really, really, this is not sponsored in any way, by the way. Uh, loads of people on Facebook uh, all been testing it out and using it. It's supposed to be really, really good for the money. Um, this is good, probably what I'm going to use for a trade clear. Um, I'm going to smash it in me. California edition, Iwater Evo WS400. And this one is a collector's edition, apparently. <laughs> uh, I, it's really funny. I had a limited edition one of these and I didn't like it, but I didn't give it a fair crack of the whip. So I sold it and then I ended up buying this and I actually quite liked it the last few times I've used it. So uh, yeah, let's go smash and clear on this, shall we? See you in a sec. done really really happy with that clear come out really well cut the little nibs in that but i always expect that uh, uh that's brilliant for the money apparently it holds a really good gloss as well and you don't die back which is what you want out of a clear coat uh, yeah, 
quite impressed. nice and that is how I paint brand new pre-primed panels and there we have it like I said in the beginning I'm not saying this is the way you should this is the way I do it but, uh, I think the results speak for themselves and I know that that's gonna stay on the panel <laughs> rather than trusting it just by scotching it um, I know there's a lot of you that follow me that are into painting, learning to paint, already are pro painters. Um, you all do things differently uh, in a different way that we all do them, but as long as it achieves the results that you're after, that's all that matters. So uh, I thought I'd knock this little video up and I uh, hope you liked it. As always, massive thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon. Stay safe and be lucky.